guys and welcome back to my channel so before I begin today's video I just want to quickly give a shout out and thank you to the sponsor of today's video Ana Luisa Ana Luisa is this incredible jewelry brand that has this awesome sustainable mission they try to offset any of their carbon footprints and they're just very environmentally friendly in addition to that all their jewelry is super cute and just super on trend I've fallen in love with every single piece. Currently, I'm wearing two of their earrings. This long dangly one is called Ostraca. It's about $59. And then this one right here, this cute one that hoops around my ear is called Cassie. And that's about $40. I love their earrings and I love their rings and everything because not only are they gold plated, but they also don't irritate my skin. And more importantly, when they send over their jewelry, they send it in these really cute reusable pouches. All of them have like these like magnetic buttons on them and so that way you can like reuse them, put whatever else you want. Like this one I put my necklaces in it and this one you can fit your AirPod case in it. Nicola also has purchased Ana Luisa jewelry by using my discount code which is linked in the bio below and she has absolutely fallen in love with it as well. She loves the feeling of it, she loves the look of it. I forget which one that one's called but that one's like this like paper clip one that like hoops around and links to your second one. Super cute. So definitely make sure to check them out. I'll put a link down below in my description as well as my discount code so that you can use that to get 10% off your purchase if they're not already having a sale, which is another great thing about them is that they're always constantly having sales. Keep your eye out. They have new jewelry coming in and out all the time. And like I said, all of them are always just super trendy and super cute. I'm sure you'll find something that you love. Thank you, Ana Luisa. I love you guys so much. All right, into the video. I know I've been MIA for like forever and hear me out. There's been a lot going on in my life but I think I finally have found some sort of stability where I am settled in and I can start making videos again which I love I miss doing it so much but I just have not had the time or energy to do it and I'm really really happy that now I do um, and I'm gonna make sure to again try to get back into that routine and post at least once a week and just update you on my life because I know like my family my parents love you mom and dad you guys watch these videos just to make sure that I'm well and alive so I appreciate all you guys who do support me and keep watching my videos let me tell you what I've been up to because it's been super hectic but I also need to get ready because I'm going out to a concert and I have 25 minutes to get ready so I'm gonna be doing both my makeup and talking to you guys at the same time so okay I had to move my ring light and like my camera because it kept disconnecting I don't know anyway so Nick and I left our Somerville house we moved out and my oh my did we have stories about that house for you especially the landlord that's for a whole nother vlog our landlord was just so like annoying and like like horrible like honestly the worst landlord I've ever had but again that's the story for later Kimmy moved to DC because she got this awesome job opportunity so she's there and Nick and I are still in Boston we moved to Brookline and for those of you who don't know it's kind of like closer towards BC and BU and we're also living with two other new roommates I don't know if you guys remember but Lucy my best friend from high school she was also in the 4th of July vlogs she moved to Boston and as well as her best friend from college Paolo moved here so we're actually gonna go see see Paolo's concert because he plays the French horn and he's super talented and we're so excited and we're leaving a little bit early because we want to buy some flowers for him ah, and we're always running late anyway so moving in was a mess because Nick and I thought it'd be smart to book tickets to go to Michigan to visit Kayla the day after we moved in but to be fair we thought we were gonna be able to move in a bit sooner which we weren't able to because um, the place that we found was completely new and was going through like construction so instead of the date that they originally gave us that we were going to be able to move in for, we actually ended up moving in a bit later. And then the next day we had to fly out to Michigan to go see Kayla. So literally moved in. We weren't allowed to like set up our rooms. We had to basically put everything into our rooms, but not make it look like we slept over or anything like that. Um, because the house technically did not go through inspection yet. In fact, it failed it. And so the inspector told our property manager that it can't can't look like anyone's living here or else we're gonna get failed again and then we can't live here the rest of the year before that we also had to move out of the house that we previously lived in a little bit sooner we decided to because we thought we could move into this new place sooner and we couldn't so then we had to move all of our stuff outside of that old house into the new house but into the basement of the new house which is this unfinished old broken down horse stable basically the floor is just mud everything's mud it's like moldy and wet and like whatever so we had to store our stuff there for a couple days absolute rest then we got to move it all the way upstairs and then we had to move we have to fly out the next day and so I didn't sleep a single like 
second i was just unpacking and then i packed to go to michigan went to michigan came back then we still couldn't move in even though we were in michigan for about four or five days because we were there for like a long weekend i think it was like labor day weekend came back they were like you still can't move into your new house so they were like we'll set you up in a hotel so we go to a hotel the hotel's absolutely shit a horrible hotel it felt more like a motel not a big fan but we got reimbursed for any sort of like food that we had to eat out so like it was fine it was just like such a big inconvenience and a lot to like i don't know like just a lot to like have to manage and deal with so it's just been super stressful and then obviously moving in then you have to settle in and you have to buy all the stuff that you need and blah blah, blah 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 so i've just been really really busy and i just did not have the time or energy to pick up the camera and even complain about how busy i was but now i've settled in and i feel like i have things in control now i'm feeling a bit better in general so that's really exciting another exciting thing that happened right before I moved out of my old house as my parents came and visited me in Boston and my sister flew over for a few days so we got to have a cute little family reunion for like about a week which was really nice but again made me insanely busy so everything was happening like every all the moving pieces were just like all happening all at the same time so it was like crazy hard to like keep up with everything and ugh it was tiring but i'm glad that it's all over and i'm glad that i've settled in and i'm so excited to be living with nicola lucy and paolo because i think we're gonna have so much fun lucy also brought her pug percy so that means that there's four of us and there's a dog and a cat living together all under the same roof luckily lucy lucy luckily percy and casper actually seem to be getting along like it's only been about a week or a week and a half i think they're starting to understand each other a bit more and they're like movements and sounds they like kind of play with each other by chasing each other up and down the hallway sometimes casper is like okay that's enough like no more and starts swatting at him but besides that i think they like each other so that's always a good sign isn't it okay now i have to decide what to wear i kind of want to put my hair up but i just washed it i think i'm gonna go with a skirt i think i'm gonna go with this skirt which is from princess polly super cute and then i don't know if i should wear a black or a white top with it no, wrong, wrong. Everything looks ugly. I decided to go with a simple Zara turtleneck top. Top? Did I say that weirdly? I don't know. Um, and then this skirt from Princess Polly and then just some booties. So this is what I look like for the concert. Yay, and then of course, can't forget my beautiful Ana Luisa jewelry. And I think we're ready to go, woo! Nicola, you look great. What are you wearing? Uh, my jacket is Nine West. My dress is Princess Polly, and my shoes are from a boutique in New York. Cute. Yeah. Are you excited for Paula's concert? Mm-hmm. Lucy, you look lovely. What are you wearing? I actually don't know where any of these things are from. Oh. Like the pants that you got. Okay, <laughs> cute. <laughs> Wait, do you have lashes on? You look so pretty. <laughs> we just parked at the parking lot by Jordan Hall and it was $21. Fuck Boston and parking. But we get 10 hours. We can have it a little later. We're gonna be here an hour max. <laughs> Not 90 minutes, he said. 90 minutes max. But anyway, we're going in now. watching Paolo's concert and it was so beautiful kind of long and I have a bad habit of like listening to classical music when I'm trying to fall asleep and so I did get a little bit sleepy I'm not gonna lie but it was so gorgeous and I had such a great time we got ourselves some pizza and we're gonna head home now but anyway thank you so much for watching like and subscribe follow me on Instagram and I'll see you later bye